Kaundin Yasana. This is one of the advanced asanas. It needs you know, more uh, stability, balance, energy and focus as well. As I said, this belongs to you know advanced level of uh, uh, yoga asanas, next level asanas. You know. To get into this asanas, you need to practice basic asanas and you need to strengthen your you know, body, the muscles, joints, nervous system and you have to get the you know, stability, energy and balance focus. Only then you have to get into this continuous. It has a lot of benefits. As it says, you know, when it is an advanced asana, you can easily understand that this will take care of the entire system. So, before getting into this asana, you have to practice uh, other variations of Kaundinyasana like uh, Yekapada Kaundinyasana is there. In that there are variations, you know. If you are a beginner, don't get into Kaundinyasana directly. You have to practice basic, as I said, basic asanas for few months and then get into Yekapada Kaundinyasana. Once you are familiar with it, once you get balanced in that asana, then try this Kaundinyasana. Directly don't get into advanced asanas. That is not good for you. So you may break your joints or something. So you may fall on the ground. So that is why it is suggested to practice those asanas first and then Ekapada Kaundinyasana and then Kaundinyasana. So that's, that's how you should get into advanced asanas. So I will show you how to do it now. First you need to sit like this. You need to have good strength balance, you know, that's very important. Especially in the hands. And take your legs towards your right side. And you see, this is my right hand, this is my left hand. There should be a little gap in between the hands. And you need to bend right hand like this. After bending the right hand, you need to keep this part below the knee part here, above the elbow, above the elbow here, this area, okay, the leg, this part, portion will come here, okay. like this, keep the feet together like this, and you need to bend towards your left, and sl slowly lift your legs, like this. You can also stretch the legs or bend. Okay? And you need to let the body breathe like this. You can either fold the legs after raising it or you can stretch the legs. Anything is fine. Okay? But just try to hold it for a few seconds. 2 to 5 seconds, you, know? you cannot hold it for a longer time and don't hold the breath, you should let the body breathe. So, maybe you can go up to 30 seconds or maybe 1 minute. So that is more than sufficient. To get the benefits out of this asana, if you hold it for 30 seconds, you need to do it the other side as well. Hold it for 30 seconds this side and then relax. See, this is how you need to relax after asana. Deep inhale and slowly exit three rounds, three rounds or three to five rounds. Okay, you need to let the respiration, the blood circulation, heartbeat to come back to normalcy. That's what is called as relaxation. You know, only then you have to do the next round. Otherwise, don't get into next round. You need to be inside. You know, that's why you have to be aware of the body and observe. Before getting into normalcy, the heart rate as a side respiration and the blood circulation, you should not do the next round. Okay? Right side, 30 seconds or 15 seconds, 10 seconds, whatever is possible for you. you know? And then relax or if you are feeling too, too tired, you can relax in Shavasana as well for one minute. Okay? Deep inhale and slowly exhale. And then get, get into sitting posture and then do the same asana left side. For whatever, if you did 10 seconds this side, example, you have to do the same, you know, 10 seconds left side as well. 
So as I said, this has a lot of benefits. It will take care of a lot of problems. If you do it regularly, if you don't have diseases, you will not get diseases in the future. If you already have it, if you do this, it will help to heal the problems. So learn it properly, understand this, only then do, do this asana.